What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shani, and I'm back, back, back with another one. And today, 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 Okay, so today we're just going to be packing a few more orders I have. Um, I just recently released a extra, extra glittery gloss that went freaking crazy. I made 60 tubes and every single tube sold out within the first day <sighs> very overwhelming but at the same time i was super excited because i never thought it was gonna do as good as it did so i definitely did not create enough of those and i have to make some more of those asap so right here i have the bucket so let me go in here okay so here's the bucket well, damn. Okay, so here's the bucket of the lip glosses, y'all. Oh, my freaking God. I'm going to put the close-up videos and the pictures that I took of the glosses so you guys can see exactly what the glosses look like. I am so super proud of these. I never expected for these to sell as good as they did. So, yes, ma'am. Like, <laughs> oh, while I'm here... I might as well show you guys my brand new tubes. I guess I already have, but I ordered brand new squeeze tubes and my squeeze tubes now have my name printed on them just like how my wand tubes are. So yes, um, this is super freaking exciting. I'm an up and coming business and I'm rebranding, not rebranding, but putting my logo on more and more of my items so I don't have to use stickers. So yes. This was the second thing to get branded. I will go ahead and show you guys a close-up of what my new tubes look like. Matter of fact, let me go get them because I don't even have them in here. So, hold on. So, these are my new squeeze tubes right here. Go ahead and open this up so you guys can see. So, this is what the tubes look like without product in them. Let's see if you guys can see that. I am so super proud of these tubes. They are freaking beautiful. And of course, they came with the stoppers and the gold caps as well. So yes, I was more than excited to receive my new squeeze tubes. And soon as I got them, I instantly made a new gloss and the gloss sold out. So if that is not inspiration, I don't know what it is. But Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so let me go ahead and get to these orders because girl, we have quite a few and we haven't started on any of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and log on to my PayPal. Okay, so more orders are coming in as we sit here. So let me stop playing and get to it. So First things first, I'm going to go ahead and print out all the packing slips so I can get that out the way. And I'm going to lay the orders out right here on my rug and then put all of the person's items into the packing slip so I know what goes with what and who it goes to. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up because, girl, we can't be playing no more. We got to get on it. Anyway, so let's go to the app center. That's thick. Wow. I appreciate all you guys that freaking ordered. Oh, I appreciate this so freaking much. Now we got our packing slips. Let's go ahead and get these items with these orders, y'all. Because, Lord, I don't want to keep y'all waiting for too long. That's how we're going to do that. <laughs> Don't have to work like that. Okay. So, okay, let's get to it. So, the first order, her name was Akira. She ordered a royalty and a duchess 
lip gloss in my wand tubes. Okay, and then this is what Duchess look like. Okay, so the first color, which is a chocolate color, this is Duchess. And then this is a gold, 24 karat gold color. This is royalty. And then I bought these boxes from AliExpress. They look like this. And you just fold them. You just fold them yourself and put your lip glosses in them. These were like the perfect size boxes for my lip gloss. I literally had to do like measuring of my tubes. And um, just go along with whatever they said the length and the width was of the boxes online. And that's how I was able to find the perfect boxes for my tubes. So literally just fold the bottom. Slide the gloss in there. And these boxes are a little different from when I ordered the first time I noticed. So I'm not really sure like how they work exactly, but I'm getting it. So yeah, that's what the glosses look like once they're inside the box. I wanted a clear box because the aesthetic of the tube is just so freaking beautiful. I didn't want to cover it up. And then the tube has my name on it. So why not just put in a clear box so you guys can see what's in there before you get it. So yeah, let me go ahead and do the other one. Duchess and royalty. I'm about to go ahead and put them in the bag. And then we need business cards. Duchess and royalty, business card. And then boom, I'm gonna put that right there on her stuff. The next order, her name is Aubrey. She ordered a Empress wand tube and then my lip liner in the shade Black or the Berry. Empress is my purple with glitter color. That's what that looks like. Again, I'm going to go ahead and take another box. So that's our gloss. And then Black or the Berry. Let's see. So here's my lip liner. Okay, so here's her gloss and here's her lip liner. Go ahead and put it in the baggie. Business card right here. This is what my business card looks like. It says shop with Shotney. And then on the back, it says let's connect. It tells you to tag us in all of your pictures and videos so that you can be featured across my platforms as well as my website at the bottom. And it also has all of my social media and stuff like that. What the hell? Next order. This is actually a pickup order. She ordered three of the new sparkly glosses. I believe it is three. And I put them all the way over here. So here are the sparkly glosses. Oh my God, these are so freaking cute. These are the sparkly glosses, the ones that was just released and sold out within that one hour. And clap for me. So, and I usually package these up in my gold Ziploc bags, but I freaking ran out and they're on the way. So I'm trying to figure out like how I want to package them. Yeah. I want to go ahead and wrap them in some tissue paper. Cause I don't want to just have them flowing freely in that bag so we're going to go ahead and do some tissue paper put a thank you sticker right there on it okay so this way it still looks presentable boom all right so for pickup orders her order doesn't it still gets packed up in the organza bag but it doesn't go in the bubble miller it goes in my pink two handle bag so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. Put a business card in there. And then I'm gonna slap that right there. The next order, hers is the pickup order as well. So let me go ahead and just 
grab one of the glosses. Her business cards. Ooh. Lay that out. The next order, she ordered two of these glosses. Y'all, most of the people in my hometown is who bought all them glosses. Up. I'm not even gonna lie. Everyone from my whole town, my hometown went crazy on them. So you wasn't able to get one. Blame Rockford, Illinois. <laughs> Sounds like the story of your life. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, Rockford. Rockford, it's for you, baby. To have enough for everybody. I didn't know people was going to go ham on it the way they did. Some people ordered four. Some people ordered three. Like, if I would have known they were going to go that quick, I probably would have put a, a limited quantity of glosses per person. But I didn't know, you know? You never know how good a launch is going to do. You never know. You never know. How well someone is watching you and waiting on you to drop a certain product. You never know who's plotting on buying what. So you just have to prepare yourself. You know, another thing I like to do for some reason, and I really need to stop doing it, I sell myself short sometimes. And what I mean by that is... I will like make a, a lip gloss and I'll be like, you know what? I don't think that many people is gonna buy them. So let me not make too many. So I'll stick to like making 20. And I'll be like, I'll be able to get by with that 20, you know? Cause I don't think they are gonna sell out that quick. And lo and behold, they freaking sell out. And I'm like, I didn't know they was gonna do that well. So lesson learned, don't sell yourself short. Um, always make a good quantity of each item. Don't lowball yourself, basically. Okay, so this next order, she got my Scooby Snacks glitter, my Strawberry Cough glitter, which is from the 420 collection, and then she got one of these glosses as well. All right, so this is the thing with the 420 collection right now. I just recently announced that my 420 collection is 40% off. So my glitters right now are only $2.40 and my bandanas are only $2.99 and I need everything to go. So yes, she ordered some more of the glitters and then I do have some more I just potted up. So let me go get those really quick. Okay, so here goes some more of the glitters that I just put in the jars. So she ordered one of the Scooby Snacks, one of the Strawberry Coughs. I don't know what's in here. Neither one that I need. So, so we got Scooby Snacks, and then we got Strawberry Cough. And then I will also go ahead and leave on the side of the screen what they look like closely so that you guys can get a good look. Okay, so I don't know if you guys watched my 420 video or not when I was showing you guys my collection. But my glitters are getting packed up in these pretty little runt bags like this. And you know what? I actually got to put a sticker on the top of these too. I almost forgot. Y'all, why I just started smelling weed? Maybe it's my neighbors or shit. All of a sudden, I get to work on my weed products and I don't smell weed. Like, what the hell? Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put her glitters in this runt bag. Like that. And then she also ordered one of these lip glosses. Okay. I'm trying to fly through these orders now, y'all. Okay, so that's that. And because she ordered some of the 420 collection, her order is going in this green bag that goes with the 420 collection. And then she also get one of these medical use stickers that goes on the back of this. I forgot. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's move to these orders up here real quick. Okay. Get to the orders up here. She ordered a Milky Way wand to lip gloss, 
lemon haze glitter and a, that's the 420 glitter and then a 420 bandana so lemon haze i think i already have some of these bottled up let me see yep so here's the lemon haze glitter put it in her bag sticker going the back of it like this okay she also ordered a bandana here's the bandana and a milky way wand tube and this is what milky way looks like milky way was a part of my sweet treats collection i had a lot of this lip gloss left so i decided to put a few of them in the wand tubes because i know a lot of people prefer the wand tubes over the squeeze and then there's other people that prefer to squeeze over the wand but i wanted to be able to accommodate both parties so I was able to put this shade in a few of the wand tubes as well. So everyone is bugging me about that too. Everyone is like, when is the sweet treats collection coming back? When is it coming back? But um, I ordered the pigments, but you know, because of the coronavirus, it's taking a little bit longer to get to me. And I'm like, y'all, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. But I can't speed it up. But this is what the gloss looks like once it's in the box. I absolutely adore this box so freaking much since she ordered from the 420 collection that does go in a green bag next order she ordered all five of my lip liners all five lip liners <laughs> period she ordered all five lip liners and she also ordered she also ordered four of the new glosses. This is her four glosses. And then we need her five lip liners. So we have Blacker Berry. have Cherry Pop. Sweeter the Juice. Buttercream. Coffee. So these are all five her lip liners, and this is what my lip liners look like. They just say shot with shiny, and they have this like pretty holographic little turn to it. I absolutely adore it, but that's what her lip liners look like. Boom, all five lip liners. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up her four lip glosses. Uh, and I do my dog. I kind of don't want to sit here and wrap all these glosses up, even though I feel like I should. I just don't feel like it. So I'm honestly just about to start putting these glosses in the bag and call them a day. For the people that's picking them up, like. <laughs> and don't get your business card though, and then you also gonna get your 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 thingy. There you go. They're going in here like this. Cause uh We got time, but we ain't got time, if you hear me. Like, we got time. We on quarantine. We got time. But we ain't got time like that. We ain't got time like that. So <laughs> y'all, we gotta we gotta fly through these orders. We gotta get these out today. I'm just doing this so that it's a reminder pretty much of where these orders is going. Are they getting picked up or are they getting shipped? Okay, so in my um, notebook, I actually have the names of all the pre-orders. If they um getting shipped or if they getting picked up, blah, blah, blah. Some people I reached out to last night and um, some people wanted to ship. So I'm just gonna write their name and whether they want it shipped or not. So the first girl, I know her name is Araceli and she wants her shipped. And then the second girl is Ashley and she wants hers shipped as well. Put that right there. Okay, next. Uh, 
All right, you guys. So these are all the orders after I finished packing them inside of the organza bag. OMG, I did not expect to have this many orders, but you know what? I do appreciate the support. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better launch. Those glosses are completely freaking sold out and I'm just super excited and I'm grateful for it. So yeah, after I just put all the orders inside the Ganza bags, we got packing slips. I have a few more packing slips to print out because some of these orders right here, these are pre-orders. Some of these orders are being shipped off because ladies wanted them shipped instead of dropped off or picked up. So I do have a few more packing slips to print out and then I'm going to go ahead and put them in there bubble mailer put the shipping label on it and girl who will be done but yes um wow i just wow i appreciate you guys so much so yeah let's go ahead and get these orders put into them bubble mailers and let's get them out honey because i don't want to keep y'all waiting any longer okay so now that we have all of the orders laid out i'm about to go ahead and write my thank you notes on each of the packing slips Put them in the bags, and then I'm going to take my ribbon, my pink ribbon, right here in this bag. Take my pink ribbon and tie some ribbon around each bag. And then I'm going to come back and just put the orders in the bubble mailer, put the shipping labels on, and girl, we got to get these orders out. We can't play. We got to get these orders out. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm packing up some of my pickup orders as well. And I just had to go in here. I don't know if I have enough bags or not. Because I had bought and restocked on these bags um, about two weeks ago. So let's see. I'll go ahead and open and put the order in. I like to write their name right on the side so I know what bag goes to who. And this is Kiana's. And then I'm going to put... A thank you for your purchase sticker right underneath it in effect and that is what it looks like it just got her name and a little thank you for your purchase sticker so for people that wants to pick up the order to get the order dropped off this is how it looks when it gets to them very inexpensive you can literally get three bags for one dollar like just, just make it worth their while. You don't have to do too much, but you can still have it look cute. That's it. That's all. So, yeah, that's that one. All right, y'all. So, this is what it's looking like after I basically packed all the orders up. Um, all of these right here are orders that are either being picked up or dropped off in my hometown of Rockford, Illinois. Once I go home tomorrow. And then over here are orders that need to be put in bubble mailers to be shipped off. Um, I've been sitting right here for about two hours doing this. I had to keep stopping. You guys know I have two kids. So I had to stop every now and then. I had to feed them. I had to change diapers and blah, blah, blah. Like, it's a lot. So in the process of doing all of this, I'm literally like, being a mom at the same time so you guys being a mompreneur is a little tough but i'm getting it done now that all the orders are packed up and these just need to be in bubble millers with the shipping label i feel a little bit more excited about being done because i don't know I, it's going on 6 p.m i haven't eaten anything i had a banana earlier and those crackers i showed you guys and i'm starting to shake <laughs> Because I haven't eaten anything. So I want to take another break. And I'm going to go ahead and take care of myself. Get myself together. My baby girl done climbed in my bed. She's knocked out. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take another break. Get myself together. I'm going to come back and basically show you guys what everything looks like after it's done. I will see you guys in a bit. Hey. We got to get to it. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> 
Okay, we gotta we gotta get these labels on these packages. Come on, we've been sitting there for too long. You guys, self care is so freaking important. Never forget to take care of yourself first. Even though sometimes I may forget to take care of myself first, I'm trying to do a little bit better. Um, so I'm learning as I go myself. This morning, I got up, I showered, I got my kids a breakfast, and I did my setup, put it all together, and literally sat down. And I've been sitting here ever since. I haven't eaten anything. I haven't drank on anything. I don't know why. But for some reason, I just woke up with this on my mind. I'm like, I got to get this done. I have to get this done today. So let me just sit down. Let me film it for you guys and do what I got to do. Um, I hate that I didn't eat anything first because while I was sitting here, I started shaking really bad. So I had to stop and eat something. I just ate something for the first time around 530 this evening. So please don't be like me. Do better, take care of yourself, eat something, drink something, feel good, and then sit down and get your things done. Especially when you know you have a lot going on, you're not going to be moving for a while. Don't do what I did and didn't eat anything, because that was just so stupid. Ended up having to take time away from the business anyway to go eat something so I could feel better. So, yeah, just a little tip. A lot, people, and when I say a lot, a lot, it wasn't in me. Like two or three people told me about this paper on Amazon where it got like the sticky back and you print the shipper label on and you literally just like put it right on the package. Eventually, you guys, I'm going to get it. And when I say eventually, I mean I'm damn near just gonna go ahead and order it tonight because in times in times like this when it's so many orders, cutting out labels and taping labels. No, ma'am. When I say no, ma'am, no, ma'am. Because, uh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, that, uh, that, 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 that's a little time we can use for something else. So, um, but just starting out, don't feel obligated to spend so much money on a label printer or on the paper or all that don't don't feel obligated to do all of that you don't have to do all of that right away you can start out just like how i did with your regular printer your regular paper cutting your labels out taping them to your package you don't have to do the most but when you start to get more and more notice and you're starting to progress and you notice your orders are starting to pick up do yourself a favor and either Get the label printer, or you can still use your regular printer, but just get the um the sticky back sheets, and you can just print your labels on that instead. Honestly, it's a more cheaper route to go ahead and buy the sticky back paper and use your regular printer. That way, you don't have to necessarily go out and have to buy a whole new printer just to do labels. Like, no, just go get the paper and call it a day, because not everyone has one to two hundred dollars to spend on the label printer i'm just saying so you got to make ends meet however you can and uh see me i'm all about making those ends meet because um we got kids around here we can't be blowing two hundred dollars on no printer okay who two hundred dollars no ma'am so let me go ahead and, and stick these labels to the package it belongs to. And I'll see you guys from there. So, uh, look at my real stupid goofy ass. Didn't I just say we was trying to hurry and pack these orders? Look at me. I got all up in my phone. I sat here for about 15 minutes playing and texting people, knowing I had stuff to do. In about three seconds, I'm about to realize, oh, yeah, I got something to do. Oh, dumbass.
one eternity later. I am freaking all done. Super excited. All my orders is packed. All my orders have the labels on it. I am done. Let's see if I can hold them. So, if you made it to the end of the video, you are awesome. Thank you so much. I freaking love you. Recording this video has shown me a lot. I procrastinate a lot. I need to get it together. Like, dead ass need to get it together. But, thank you guys so much for watching. All my orders that are being shipped are done. All of my orders that are going out for pickup or delivery in my hometown are done. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. We ain't gonna Touching your skin, looking down the lotion. Your body's calling, and I'm here to listen. If it's three in the morning, just tell me if one. I love it way more, and I'm taking.